Hey guys, this is Aaron from ED Figure Unboxing, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the SH Figure Arts Ash from Pokemon. And I have been waiting for a good Ash figure ever since I was in elementary school. Um, this would have been so cool back then. Um, but anyways, hopefully the line can do well so we can see more Pokemon SH Figure Arts, or maybe Misty and Rock, who knows? Um, here's the left of the box, here is the right of the box, and here is the back of the box. And that's not wasting any more time, and bust this thing open and see what we got. And here we have the figure still in the inner packaging, and this is all he came with? What the f And to be fair, they do have a deluxe version bundled with Team Rocket, uh, but that just gives you one more faceplate and the logo for Team Rocket, so I don't think that's worth it at all. But anyways, I think this is going to be a relatively short review, and let's check out the figure itself. And here we have the figure itself, and unfortunately, my first impression on this figure is not too great. Um, do let me know in the comments on which iteration of Ash this is because I remember Ash to be a little bit more slim and the t-shirt being black. Hmm, maybe I just haven't seen Pokemon for a long time, but yeah, anyways, um, let's take a closer look at the figure. Um, the paint work is really clean for the most part, the joints are tight, um, the figure is really durable. Um, I do have some paint chipping over here like in the hair, but that's no big deal. But anyways, um, let's check out the articulation. And for the articulation, let's quickly go over from the neck down. Um, you can look up about this much, look down about this much, and you can turn his head no problem. And of course, you can um, turn his head like that. I'll just like take it off and then you know put it on. And then for the shoulder, it's just on a standard ball joint. Uh, you don't have any butterfly or pull out gimmick, but you do have some shoulder swivel and you do have some bicep swivel. You can curl about this much and you do have the ball wrist. And the jacket is on a softer material, so you won't have to worry about that hindering your articulation, so that's really nice. And for the ab crunch, you can bend forward about this much, um, side to side movement, bend backwards about this much. And he can kick his leg up about this high, and you do have the older pull down method. And you can bend about this much, and you have some side to side pivot, and you do have the toe hinge as well. So the articulation is there, um, it's pretty good actually. And let's check out the accessories. And for the accessories, we can start with the default face, and it looks pretty good. And next up, I turn his head with the default face. And next up, we have a more serious face wearing the cap. Serious face with a turning cap. And then we do get the interchangeable hair piece um, without a cap, and this is the default face. And lastly, we get a serious face without the cap. And for the interchangeable hands, unfortunately, we only get one pointing finger for the right, and that is really pathetic. And next up, we do get one right hand that is holding the Pokeball, but I kind of wish we could take this off because these are actually molded on there, and that sucks. Um, yeah, the lack of accessories is really killing me. And lastly, we have Pikachu, um, very nicely painted and sculpted, and I feel like this is the best part of the figure. Um, you can turn his head, um, some torso movement, you can make him stand, and then he can stand on all fours as well, and this is really cool. Yeah, I really like it. And it does have a little clip you can put on Ash's shoulder, and let's try this on. And here I have Ash assembled with Pikachu. Oh, that sounds pretty weird. But anyways, um, this is really cool. Um, This feature alone makes me like the figure out a lot more. And really, the only problem with this figure is the lack of accessories. But anyways, um, let's jump straight into the size comparison. And for the size comparison, let us start with the SH figure as Charizard. And unfortunately, this is the only Pokemon I have at the moment. Um, I kind of want to go back and get the rest of them now that we have Ash. But nah, probably not going to do it. And Charizard is supposed to be bigger, but I think with the right angle, you should be able to pull this off. And it looks pretty good. And hopefully, they can release more SH figure as Pokemon. And next up, we have the usual SH figure as Dragon Ball and Naruto figures. And I think Ash is at a pretty good size. And next up, we have the Mesco 112 Daredevil and Punisher. And next up, we have some American IP SH Fig Arts. And then we have the amazing Yamaguchi Venom and Bring Arts Sora from Square Enix. And then we have some recent Kamen Riders and Street Fighters SH Fig Arts. And lastly, we have some recent Figma figures, and let's jump straight into the final thoughts. Alright, so for the final thoughts, um, I was really hyped up for this figure initially, but unfortunately, it didn't turn out to be as impressive as I wanted to be. And don't get me wrong, the figure is not horrible. The more I play with it, the more I look at it, the more I like it. It has definitely grown on me. Um, but the biggest issue I have with the figure is obviously the lack of accessories. And I can also understand from a business standpoint, Bandai is trying to like, you know, do the mass appeal strategy, because for $35, um, it's a really good deal. Um, but for a hardcore collector like me, I don't really mind paying like $60, $70 for the extra hands and faceplate. And that is a little bit annoying to me, but it's not that bad. People are going to buy this anyways. Um, but yeah, I think that's it from me. But I do remember his shirt being black though. And do let me know in the comments if that is like another iteration of Ash. 
But again, this is Eric. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to share the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.